Good morning, welcome to another little studio vlog. So I decided to do a little bonus video because I've just got so much to say and one video a week isn't always the right amount. So we're gonna do a little bonus vlog. Um, I've received a couple of exciting deliveries. Well, I find them exciting. They might not be as exciting to you, but I think it's sick. So I will show you those in a little bit. But first, I have a rogue order that I need to post to America. It's going to California, I think, which is very cool, which means I need to go to the post office to get this sent. I can't just send this in the post box. So we're gonna head to the post office. Um, I need the bank card. Where are you? Right, we'll quickly go to the post office and then I will get into it. We've got a lot of things to do today. It's very warm outside. I've got all my windows open and we're determined to get stuff done. Let's go. I have a feeling it's going to be disgustingly warm outside. I really hope there's not a queue at the post office. <laughs> I actually look like a little egg. Can you tell it's hair wash day tonight? Let's see what the temperature is. 25! Unheard of. This is for America, please. Take card, please. There you go. Thank you. All right, we're back from the post office. I've just brought up the parcel that I mentioned earlier that I want to show you. Um, and I want to quickly talk to you about my business bank account. As you probably saw from the previous clip, I've just been to the post office and I used my Starling business bank account. Um, if you've watched these videos for a while, you'll know that I've been working with Starling over a number of different campaigns and it's because I am really passionate about what it is they do. So if you didn't know, Starling is a bank account. They offer business accounts and personal accounts. I actually have one of each. What I love mainly about it is the fact that it has a really handy the app hang on shall i find it one of the main things that really sold me when switching to starlin was that it sends me notifications when money comes either in or out of my bank account so i'm very aware of my money situation which is amazing i like to be in control it's something that i never used to be very good at until i had um an app like the starlin account app you can also like lock your card so if you temporarily lose it which i often do i leave it in like coat pockets and think i've completely lost it i haven't you can just lock it um and you can add a bunch of different features using the app and i've mentioned this previously but they've also at starling signed up to the women in finance charter so basically means that they're helping women get into the world of finance so whether they want to pursue a career in finance Stalin have signed up to an initiative charter to get that going which I think is super super cool along with a bunch of different like cool ethical choices their offices are really eco and green they sent me like this huge pack of information about what they do at Stalin to sort of stand out from the rest so yeah i will leave information about all that in the description but if you are like me and looking to get a business bank account this one has zero charges it doesn't cost me anything per month month to have um and it's just such a convenient place to keep my money it's secure and i really do have a lot of trust in starling so yeah for me as a small business it's been super super handy i will leave all the information in the description if you want to check it out um, Stalin are always available to answer questions on the website if you have any and yeah thanks for working with me again Stalin um I am now I think actually I'll show you this parcel but I also have a delivery of boxes arriving soon and I do need to package up the boxes so yeah I've literally got a box of boxes arriving <laughs> not something I ever thought would happen but here we are this is what a small shop owner life involves okay Right, let me show you this parcel, it's up here. This is from the wonderful people at No Issue. Um, this is not sponsored, they just asked if I would like to try out some of their products and they gifted me it, so I guess it's ad gifted. And let me just show you this. So, hang on, it's probably easier if I pick the camera up. So here, if you can see, ignore the sun, sorry about that, we have personalized soul and fire tissue paper. How freaking cool is this let me try and get it out all right these are big sheets look at that oh i definitely need to cut these up look at it oh god oh god oh god mistakes have been made oh god <laughs> okay <laughs> we made it so i have this tissue paper how sick is this 
So I created this pattern myself, uploaded it to their website, and they very kindly um, just didn't charge me for it. I got it for free, which is incredible. And all their tissue paper is eco-friendly. They have such cool eco-credentials. So you'll notice that on the Soul and Fire website, I now have a little section about the tissue paper and where it's from, how it's printed, etc. Because we like to be eco here. But I love this. Um, if you've watched my packing videos before, you'll know that I use this tissue paper, um, which is orange as well. And I cut it down to the perfect size that I needed. Um, and we used a lot of this. But I couldn't say no to this how beautiful so yeah thank you so much no issue i'll also leave them linked in the description i cannot wait i'm very happy this arrived now it's a shame it didn't hang on let me spin um it's a shame it didn't arrive in time for the first bunch of planners to be shipped but it actually arrived a lot quicker than they like predicted so yeah for the pre-order planners these they will be wrapped in that stuff which is very exciting um the quality is great the only thing i think a little like niggle for me i guess is the price um as a small business owner it is quite expensive to get personalized tissue paper and that sort of applies across the board no matter which supplier you go with um so yeah it was something i looked into at the beginning but it's not something i could afford maybe in like a year's time i would be able to justify that expense but in this case obviously because i didn't pay for it it was just like a no-brainer so yeah bear that in mind if you are looking to get personalized tissue paper it is expensive um but it's sick isn't it such a little fangirl who knew i would ever get excited about tissue paper okay so i've got a long to-do list today um i'm gonna just do some laptop work to begin with um and then i will get back to you i think i'm gonna do look at my hair i went outside for like 10 minutes and this happens i'm gonna do a draw with me video i think today so we'll get that filmed hopefully my ipad is charged and we can get that filmed and up ready for tomorrow i'm feeling very last minute this week it's not like me but i think the overwhelming response to the planners sort of sent my <laughs> adrenaline up to the sky so exciting and then i sort of crashed a little bit this weekend so i took some days off um and then we're back on it today so yeah right i'm gonna have a look at my to-do list hopefully get some stuff done and i will reconvene when i've done all the boring laptop stuff Computer jobs are done. I've just sent off some brand work that I only got in this morning and I managed to turn it around in like two, three hours. So I'm very proud of myself, just giving myself a little pat on the back. But I also got a big delivery of boxes. So yeah, a few people actually asked in the last video um, what boxes that I was using to package my orders. So I thought I'd just kind of talk you through. You might not find this interesting, but I did get quite a few people asking me. So um these little like boxes here these are the a5 ones i'm gonna just fold one up so you can see i got into like such a knack of doing this really quickly because we had so many to make and not much time <laughs> so i sort of got into like a smooth rhythm of building them as you can see sort of lost it but yeah this oh it's because i'm folding it the wrong way wow alice good effort <laughs> so these boxes fit a a5 little planner perfectly which is the reason i've used them and they're a recent investment because i've always had the a4 ones okay <laughs> we got there eventually so this is the box made up it's like a pizza box but like rectangle rather than square and it sort of folds into itself um and these are from little packaging and they're really affordable they're like the cheapest boxes i could find actually um there might be some more but they're the cheapest boxes i could find with like good eco credentials because obviously it's all on fire i want to make sure we're being eco friendly so um yeah i ordered these boxes from eco craft not eco craft little packaging um then i have the cellophane wrappers which are currently hiding in this envelope um I'm gonna try and get them out without like getting the whole pack out oh there we go 
so this is like a clear wrapper thing um that i put the planners in again if you watched a vlog a couple of weeks ago you'll see me and mum wrapping those planners up i will leave it linked on screen and in the description um but these are made from like vegetable starch stuff wow i love being really knowledgeable i have a full-on um sustainability page on solvent fire's website that tells you exactly what these are made from but they're like accredited eco-friendly they will decompose um biodegrade or whatever in compost bins it'll just take a little bit longer in home compost bins compared to commercial ones but yeah they just have this little self-seal thing and we put the planners in them and do that and i have obviously the a4 ones which are also here these are the big ones um but i treat these like gold because i don't want to rip them and i don't want to waste them i got those from ecocraft however ecocraft recently have been sort of closed due to covid so i had to order the new ones from somewhere else so i'm hoping they arrive soon because the planners are arriving soon and obviously i'll need them um but i'll let you know if they're any good because i think they were similar prices so that would be a good place to get them from um but what i'm gonna do i'm gonna i've temporarily like moved some of my a4 boxes into this drawer because i don't know if you can see but like up there above the door on top of the wardrobe are loads i don't even know how many loads more boxes that just arrived and we need to stamp them so i like to put a stamp on the inside that says soul and fire and then on the outside that says please recycle me basically um so we need to stamp them so i've sort of separated them but i wanted to test how this new tissue paper looks with the boxes i just want to sort of like make it up and see what it looks like the only planners i have left are the ones that i use myself so we'll just put them in for now but yeah let's build this box and i just want to see what this whole little new branding glow up is gonna look like so i feel like it's gonna be sick i'm so excited about it also i forgot to mention these boxes fit through if you're posting via royal mail in the uk they fit through the large letter slot and um, this might not definitely fix it's not taped down but basically it fits in this gap here which means it's not the cost of posting a parcel it's the very very maximum you can get to post a letter so if you're posting things that are like relatively flat um these are really good options because it makes sure that you're not like paying too much postage when they fit in these anyway and i bought this thing from like amazon i'll link everything that i'm mentioning in the description just random bits of things that i use and have picked up along the way right so these tissue papers keep wanting to fly off because it's very windy in my office um, I've got all the windows open, it's so warm today. I want to sort of cut this paper to make it like efficient, if that makes any sense. So what I did with the other ones, I chopped them into like strips, like long strips. And I just put them, I used two strips, one like that on one side, one like this, and then we put in the planner this is my planner so it's not in its packaging and then i would add the what are they like postcards and stuff and then fasten it up like that put a sticker on you know did that could you even see that <laughs> yeah so like i have these bits of tissue paper you kind of open it like that the planners are inside you've got the thank you card all that stuff a little free print um, and it's sealed with a sticker so that's what i've been doing previously but we're going to attempt to sort of make the most of these big sheets i cannot get over how sick this looks i actually love it um so yeah i just need to like measure what's going to be the most efficient way of me doing this maybe like chopping it all the way down hmm. all right <laughs> let's time lapse Alright, so I think I've worked out which way I prefer it. So I actually cut it like lengthways. So this is one whole sheet. 
um, and then it fits perfectly in the box and I can just fold it over like this put the soul and fire sticker on there and you kind of get it presented to you like that and then if there's stuff that like rattles around I've got like some padding to use like some tissue paper scraps to use for padding and then you'd open it up and you get your little card and your little thing I think this looks really cute I'm very happy with it um, and then for like the A5 one so I'd use this box obviously this box doesn't actually need padding which is great so this is like the strip I ended up with I just cut that big sheet in half um, and then I reckon I've not tested this out yet but I reckon if I cut the whole sheet in half it'll fit so I'm gonna just quickly do that let's see how this works okay cool so that fits so um that means I only need to cut all the sheets at once I reckon for the time being I'm gonna keep using this plain orange just for the pin badge things because I wrap the pin badge up in this just to add a, like extra layer of protection but i think this looks so good and then picture like the sticker here i think that'll look amazing um i'm gonna have to go downstairs and show my mum this because it looks really cool but yeah i love the addition of this extra branding and i reckon definitely if you have the budget to it's good investment because it makes a good background for people to take photos or you can reuse it obviously and then if you don't want to reuse it you can just chuck it in with your recycling and it'll biodegrade so well we've just had a major glow up here <laughs> it is now the next day and i completely forgot that i was vlogging yesterday so nothing interesting happened in my life other than i was drawing a cool little illustration which will be up next week for next week's video so watch out for that if you're a lover of procreate and if you're a lover of illustrations that one's for you but i want to sort of sign off the vlog i guess by showing you one last thing that i realized or two last things actually that i use for packaging so i've realized the whole vlog is basically about my packaging um so i'm just <laughs> bobbing down this is my printer i get a lot of questions about what printer i use this is the canon mg3250 but i'm pretty sure it's discontinued this is probably 10 years old coming up um it's very old but it does the job and i don't actually print my products on it i just print receipts on it so it doesn't need to be fancy um and i also use it's so dusty up here um i also use this label printer so this prints out like long square not square rectangle labels so um originally i used this just for my labels but yeah what i used to have to do and i mentioned it in that vlog at the time is that i used to have to copy and paste the addresses into the software that comes with this to get it to work because i couldn't find like a smooth seamless way of doing it via my website however since then i have discovered a new system so i have these pieces of paper um that have integrated labels in them so if you watched the vlog of me packing orders you'll have seen that i had a four sheets of paper and then in it has a label so if you peel this bit off it becomes the address label and then the rest of it is the sort of like invoice thing you'll probably have seen these in like asos orders and stuff like that um and i discovered these were a thing couple of weeks ago and it's changed the game so all of these here are these labels a4 sheets and what i really liked about them is that they are um widely recyclable because this bit is literally just paper so this can just go in your recycle bin and then like the backing part of the label is very like minimal tacky stuff so again this can be put in recycling so you can just literally just chuck the whole thing in your recycle bin which obviously is great and it means that i'm not wasting anything um so yeah all i did was sort of set it up on my printer lined everything up it didn't take too long at all and now it prints out invoices for me straight away with the labels and it makes the packing process so much easier um so i will link these in the description as well they've got like a specific name and there's ones that come with like different label sizes <laughs> you can see where i've been wearing my watch do you know on those few bike rides I've been on? 
I now have a watch tan. <laughs> I'm a bike person. Um, but yeah, they come in loads of different sizes. Um, so you kind of just need to work it out and do it for your shop. It's worked out really well and I'm very happy I've done this. I just have to remember to put them in the printer the right way around. Um, I also recently invested in this little cube thing um, because before my printer was just stood on. It was actually stood on that box there but it was quite hard to get to so I've realised I like things being efficient. I want to invest to make my process a lot quicker. So here I have my guillotine thing. I've got some spare ink for my printer which happened to have free photo paper in it for some reason and then this box I'll just end up filling with stuff eventually but yeah I just got this cube from B&Q um, and you can get a door and shelves and drawers and stuff for it but I just left it at that so yeah that is I think that's like one of the last things I use now for packaging so like I said I think this vlog sort of turned into a what I use to package video um, so hopefully you found it useful. I'm still learning, obviously I've not had my shop for that long. Um, so I'm slowly sort of getting to grips with it. Eventually I do want to do the labels where they already have like the Royal Mail postage stuff on it. So it's already paid and ready to go. But for now I'm gonna get through that big stack of integrated labels and do that because trying to set up the Royal Mail one really stressed me out. So I just thought I'd stick to the simple method. Um, and I don't mind standing in the post office. Um, waiting for them to be processed that doesn't bother me so yeah I hope you've enjoyed this informative vlog thank you so much for watching until the very end if you did get to the end let me know one thing you've been grateful for today today I'm very grateful for the fact that my mum has already made lunch <laughs> I love that I get to have lunch made for me because I always hated choosing what to decide wait I always hated deciding what to eat for lunch when I was at uni and I'd just skip it and have dinner early so very happy that I've got my lunch ready for me I can taste it already so yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you next week with another video bye